Last night around 11.15 p.m., our third district patrol officers responded to a stolen vehicle alert from one of our ALPR cameras on the West Bank area. When the officers reached the area of Constantine Drive and Gentry Road in Marrero, they spotted a 2009 blue and white Toyota Corolla, which happened to be the, which happened to be the vehicle where the license plate information was dispatched on a stolen car. The officers at that point boxed the vehicle in, one going to the front of the vehicle, which was Officer Kenneth Guichard, parks his, his marked JPSO unit with his illuminated lights on. Deputy William Durant is in his marked unit and he pulls up behind the vehicle. They both exit their units and approach the vehicle, which was occupied by one black male suspect, later identified as Equan Anderson. In the process of doing so, Deputy Guichard, who's in the front of the vehicle, as he approaches, Anderson accelerates. Guichard pulls his weapon and begins firing at the same time Burant's firing at the vehicle. Anderson strikes Guichard. He goes onto the front left fender of the car based on the markings that are on Deputy Guichard's uniform that this is from some of the badge, name tag, etc. As he goes onto the hood of the car, while still firing, he strikes his head on the windshield, causing a, a severe laceration to the left side of his eye. He rolls off the car. They stop firing at that point, and Anderson speeds away. Soon thereafter, in the 2100 block of Constantine, they spot this particular vehicle with its engine running, unoccupied, with the assistance of K-9, Deputy Marcus Bourne, and his partner, Nitro 2. They locate Anderson in the rear yard in the 2100 block of Constantine. As the dog approaches Anderson, he begins resisting, kicks at the dog. The dog naturally was successful in biting him, stopping his aggression. When Deputy Bourne arrives next to his partner, he takes him into custody. It's discovered that he has a gunshot wound to the middle part of his back, as well as a gunshot wound to the rear of his head. The projectile did not penetrate his skull. He was transported to University Hospital where he was treated and released. Deputy Guichard was transported to Auctioner West Bank where he too was treated and released. Fortunately and thankfully, Deputy Guichard didn't sustain any major injuries. The injuries that he has are non-life threatening as well as the injuries that Anderson has are non-life threatening.